ladies and gentlemen, I am the Hat Guy, and welcome to episode four of my RimWorld Vanilla playthrough. In the last episode, everything went to pot, really. Um, we lost two half decent pawns. Uh, they got. Uh, one of them got shot, I think, or one of them got captured. Yeah, there he is. There's one of the guys from the last episode. Must drag the bolt action rifle back. But we did gain Norori. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Who, apart from a terrible Luciferium addiction, and he's deaf as a post, uh, is actually a fairly decent pawn. So, this... This colony might still survive. I doubt it. I would be highly surprised if we manage it through to the end of this episode without uh, dying. But, uh, yeah, so, see how things go. At least we've got him picking crops today. Which is more than the other guy can do. Because we was getting into the stage where Fitzgerald, no, rough child, even. Fitzgerald was on a different playthrough. Roughchild, in fact, uh, can't harvest crops, if I remember rightly. Uh, does it work? Yeah, he can't cut crops, so it's... <laughs> Without the uh, addition of our pawn who can haul stuff, and um, pick stuff, he was going to starve to death. Which is not a good thing to happen. At least Rothschild is actually constructing some stuff. I'll just put him on everything. So, yeah. Cool. See if we can get some solar panels and some power in. Ooh, our battery's charging. Cool! Our conduit, just yeah, you've got one under there. Look, perfect. So I can get Rough Child to prioritise working on that. See if we can get the wall built first. Before he starts building any floors. The main thing is we want to get this fridge built. So that we can start storing some food for posterity. Where's my addict? He's picking plants. Do I still have a dog? I think so. No, our dog died. Ah, rough child's gone berserk. What a good start to an episode. What an absolute nutcase. Uh, as long as... Nori? Norori? Is safely locked away there, we should be okay. I just hope that we get another pawn or two in this episode. Due to the fact that uh, we are lacking people. Lacking people severely. Um. So, here's hoping that we can get these potatoes picked, uh, stored before they all rot away. Uh, not for refrigerators. They've got a quadrant before we have to haul them in. I'll see if we get a trader, if I can grab some animals off of them that can haul stuff. Although we are kind of short of cash at the moment, with only 187 silver. Having blown 300 odd on some kibble so that my people didn't starve on the first day. So yes. Rough child's asleep. He's finished his um He's finished his mental break, which is good. I've got a dry thunderstorm. Which is probably going to ignite some of our crops. But uh, I will be honest, I'm not that worried at this point in time. <laughs> Get up, rough child, stop being so tired. 
Oof, damn it! Bendy, bendy. Some damn consuming potatoes. That's good. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, look, it's gonna set fire to all the grass. Let's just do that. Stop building floors and start building other stuff. Where are you? What are you doing? Where are you gone? Consuming rice. Stop consuming rice. Stop building some bloody walls. I'm not going to starve to death yet. My pawns on this game are so useless. I mean, I've had some dodgy pawns on my time, but... Stop consuming stuff and build stuff! We need to get this fridge built so that we can get some food stored. Fact, uh, because I'm hoping that it'll be very soon. Let me guess, consuming rice! So consuming rice, go bloody build some stuff! Go consume rice later! Clear all uh, foods, yes. Consuming rice, no you're not, you're building! Hopefully I should be able to get a roof on that. What's Norby doing? Wandering around like a lost soul. Going for a walk. Don't go for a walk. Build. Don't mind you going to uh, go and eat now. As long as I could get this freaking roof built. Lazy gits. So in Gyria! Alright, alright, alright. You win! You win! <sighs> so in Gyria. No, you're not. You're building a roof. Can I build a roof at all? Why can't you build a roof? <laughs> Lazy. Bloody pawns, get building! Hauling marble block, marble tile, stop! Bloody hauling stuff to. Ugh, fuck it. Go finish building the walls then, lazy kid. Do what I tell you! Do what I want you to do! It drives me nuts this game does sometimes. It really does. Yay! I'm gonna build some bloody rooms! Yay! He's building a roof! Finally he's gonna build the roof! I'm going to consume some rice. A rough child, get up you lazy git. Building roof area. Cool. So we've actually got some space to. Okay, right. I'm going to drop you down to two. I'm going to have you on one on hauling, and so you're going to construct and plant cuts. And we've got solar flare. So Ooh, that's. Oh, and we've got no steel, so we can't build anything else. But at least we've got a roof <coughs> over my fridge, or future fridge.
He's gone on a mental break. Because he's hot. Well, you know what? If you bloody porn started building some stuff, maybe you wouldn't go into a bloody berserk rage. Oh, God. Hey, well. Look at how old he is. 2307. That's got to be one of the oldest pawns I've ever seen. I'll be honest, that is that is ancient. No wonder we're here in Loss and the Luciferium need. Nobody wants him. Right. Trying to be potty, you are. Um. want you to start mining, I think. The main thing we need now is some steel. We're short of steel. So that we can start getting some of this fridge built. Get the refrigeration units built, anyway. And hopefully Nori, or Norori, or whatever. Bloody Lucy, I'm going to call him now. Uh, Lucy can go in... Um, Build some, well, haul some stuff back into the fridge. With any luck. Um, a bit worried about the size of this room, to be honest. We'll put a couple of pillars in the middle so the roof doesn't collapse. Maybe, you know, if they stop faffing around building floors, maybe they could go and dig that out and then I'll have a load of steel. But no, they're too busy doing other stuff. Oh. Drives me nuts, it does. It really does. Oh. Stupid game. Are you falling potatoes into... I'm sure! Oh, let's cancel that so you can all your potatoes down into the fridge. The future fridge. Rough child, go and build that. No, you probably don't have enough steel to do it, but try anyway. I need 75 steel, and I have what? Um, nearly enough. I've got some. I think I've got enough components to do it. Steel. Yay! I might actually be able to get some refrigeration going, so I can actually store some food. Yay! Right. Well, let's whack that down to minus 19, which is a good temperature to bring it down to. It's not going to get anywhere near it. Well, you can try. Well, you can try. Yay! We've got a raid, and we haven't got any body armor. Fuck! There's a camel over there. <laughs> no, no, Rory's incapable of violence. Oh, great! Oh. Well, guys, it was nice knowing you, but I think that's going to be the end of our settlement. Because there's nothing I can do about it. There is literally nothing I can do. What are you doing? Moving. What are you doing? Igniting Metal Butcher's Table. Okay. You as well. I 
He's going to get captured, isn't he? Yep. Oh well. We're down to one again. There's nothing I can do about it. Rough child can't haul. <laughs> We're back in the same situation as we was in the last episode. Oh, great. Well, enjoy your spuds while you got them. Because you're going to starve to death eventually. I'll pop that on there so you can go and keep building, keep building. We've got dry thunderstorm as well, so that's going to burn anything that's inside, uh, outside even. Farewell. been nice playing with you but I severely doubt we're gonna make it to the end of this episode mind you I said that at the beginning ah, I said that last episode I seem to have done fairly well so that's me dog got starved to death he was nutrition extreme didn't even have a butcher's child to do get inside you lunatic in a thunderstorm. I know you can do it. Yeah, there's not really a lot I can do until we get somebody else. I hope for a trader. A trader would be nice. But I think that's just a little too... It's just asking for a little too much, I believe. Don't think we're um, don't think we're going to get a trader or even another pawn in this episode. As I say, I'll be uh, I'll be highly surprised if we actually make it to the end of it. But hey ho, nothing I can do about it apart from sit here and watching. Slowly starve to death. Again. Yeah, we've got enough food for now. Fact. I'm going to forbid that so that you have to eat all of the stuff that's outside. That way we can keep a, a certain amount of stuff in the uh, in the fridge. Um, you know, it would be nice if you kept it reasonably cold. You know, fact. Start building that. Have you got enough steel to do it? No, we don't. So let's do that. I'll have you on growing as well. God, we are in a situation, aren't we? Critical alert! Major break uh, risk. You know what? I don't give a flying monkey. I want to get this bloody fridge built. At least get it. Oh, you are fun! <laughs> we got a zert. Why were you building stuff when you should have been? Construct. Uh, when? Why? Yeah. Why are you constructing stuff when you should put the bloody fire out? You blithering idiot! Oh, 
<sighs> As I say, this game makes me rage sometimes. It really does. Hopefully we should be able to bring the temperature down again. Hopefully below freezing in there. So... Our food won't steer, degrade. At least it's being refrigerated if it's not frozen. And that's why I've got plans for building three, you see. As long as we don't get a solar flare, we should be okay. What are you doing now? Oh, you're mining, right. I'll be honest, it doesn't really matter what you do because you can't grow anything, so you might as well just dig stuff and moves. You can't even haul, can you? Which is the pain in the ass. You can't cut, can't hunt, can't haul, and you can't clean. So. Yay! Woo! Woo! What is he? He is a. He's being chased by pirates. A flaneur. God knows what one of those is. Right, you can, as long as. No, no, please don't say that you're pacifistic as well. Please, for the love of all things holy, do not say that you're pacifistic. Yes! We've got somebody who can put up a fight, I think. Incapable of violent bugs. Oh! Come on! You stupid... Um, rough child, it's been nice knowing you, but I can't be bothered with you anymore. If I've got to choose between two of you, I'm going to choose between you. I'm going to choose you because you suck. Oh, hang on, I never did check. Has he got an addiction? Actually, he's a really good pawn. Oh, and he's got no injury. Oh, ha, ha, ha. he's 39, so he's not likely to uh, to die in a hurry either. Oh, holy grail of a pawn! Mind you, it does mean we are still stuck with one with a pacifistic bloody colony. I've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Right, draft. Go hide. Stay away from the. Uh, stay away from them. Just let them do their thing and sod off. Oh. So rough child's gone now. But we got somebody who can plant, cut, and grow, and do most things. So. We have a chance of surviving now. Stupid bloody game. It drives me potty. But yeah, at least we can grow stuff now. <laughs> So, yeah, that was an eventful raid. We lost our last original pawn, but we gained somebody who was slightly less useless. He's still pretty useless because, uh, you know, he is, uh, he is pacifistic as well. But uh, at least he's not likely to starve to death. So we might actually stand a little bit more of a chance with this guy. 
Let's see how things go. As I say, it's just nice for uh, for somebody not to um, not to starve. Because at least he can grow and cut plants and such like. I just hope to get another pawn before we uh, before we lose this guy, because we are still very much on the edge. You know, one single disaster and our colony. <laughs> I'm not even going to call it a colony. Our guy, he's going to be stuffed. Or even she. It's a she, isn't it? I never paid that much attention to be honest. Yay, and another dry thunderstorm just to burn all my crops away. Look. I'm not going to bother putting her inside. If she gets struck by lightning and catches fire and dies, that's the end of this colony. It's, it's just driving me crazy. As it is. Fire! <laughs> Do you know what? I can give them a bit of bloody hell. Oh no! Right, I do care. Because that's... That's important, that is. Get back. Get back. Get back. <sighs> well, let's keep seeing how things go. Another day. See how things go, really. Disastrously wrong is what seems to be going wrong, uh, going on in this colony. Everything is going disastrously wrong. Mind you, my fault for choosing Randy Random on Extreme, I suppose. I'll be surprised if this colony makes another couple of episodes. It's we are going to uh, we are going to lose this colony at some point, obviously. But uh, I was hoping not this early in the game. You know, maybe once we're into double digits of episodes, maybe I'll be quite happy there. But we barely even scraped by. I mean, this is the fourth. I think we will scrape five, but <laughs> whether we make more than that, I severely doubt it. But, um, yeah, we'll see how things go. And I think on that bombshell, I'm going to call it an end of an episode. I have been the Hat Guy. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.